Hello world. Um, after some pretty wild weather yesterday. Oh my god, it's hailing! I'm getting hit with hail! I'm getting smacked! I'm getting smacked with hail! Jay's like, not about it. Don't come out here, it's dangerous. You need PPE. Jay and I are gonna ride Hawes today. It's been a minute since I've taken him out for a proper bike ride. So, we'll get him to run for a little bit. And then I'm gonna just go do like a highlight run of Hawes because I haven't been on my mountain bike in a little while. So, yeah. You. <laughs> Nandy's off. Off like a bullet. <laughs> yeah. Jay needed this just as much as I did. I'm gonna hit you, bro. Careful. <laughs> Jay's playing chicken with me. Of course, Jay's right in my way. Ah! <laughs> He's kicking dirt at me. <laughs> Steve and I did some upgrades to my bike recently. We cut down the bars. Ah. Uh, to about 780, so they're still pretty wide, but it feels a little more playful. And just this morning, uh, we put a new tire on. It's an Aggressor by Maxxis, and I wasn't sure if I would notice the difference coming from the DHR in the rolling speed, but I do. It actually feels so much faster. It's amazing. <laughs> I am loving it. But it's a lighter tire, so the risk of puncture is greater. Um, but now I am fully tubeless again for the first time since like the end of the summer at Killington. I don't have a tube in my back tire. Yeehaw! Yeah, baby. Such a fun trail at the beginning or the end of the ride or the beginning and the end. Whoa. Oh, that was nice. It's like the tiniest transition ever there, but I made it. Oh yeah, buddy. Get able to lay into those corners more. <laughs> kind of a weird little side hit. <laughs> oh geez. Nice. Next one is like right up here. It's a fun little jump too. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what fun. Keep running, yeah, good boy, come on. <laughs> yeah. Jay's like, oh my god, I'm so tired. You must carry on, buddy. Oh, this is someone put a jump here. What? I'll be back, buddy. All right, you have a good nap. Detour. You get to ride on the roof of a car here. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> so random, but I'm down for it. Way out there, under the dark, horrible clouds, 
is where Steve and I were supposed to be at about this time today. Yeah, I can see the snow from here. And it looks like it's about, oh yeah, it's dumping rain over there already. You can see it just to the left. We made a good choice calling that adventure off. I can't come all the way over here and not hit this jump line at least once. There we go. I think I need a little more speed than what I have. There we go. Nice. It's kind of soaking up the jumps though. <laughs> Next. Whoa. I don't know why that jump does that to me. Yeah. Nice. This morning, Steve said to me, are you gonna PR the Alpe d'Huez climb? And I was like, ah, probably not. I don't have it in me today, but my legs feel good, and so I'm going for it. Here we go. Hopefully, I can make it. Making it without stopping is gonna be the key, I think. But I am pushing myself a little harder than I usually do. Yeah. Fun line. Last section. Also the steepest, <laughs> and therefore the hardest. <sighs> oh, come on, man. Let's go. <sighs> oh. So redlining right now, but I'm so close. Come on, baby. Push. Ah. I don't know if the trail ends here or further down though. So I'm gonna keep going just for a bit. Oh, look at that view. Angry Four Peaks. All right. I'm calling this the end. Let me go on to goat. So my Strava stops the time for me. Oh, wow. That was really hard. Oh. Oh. Break time, baby. Surprise. It is Andrew from the future. Way in the future, like a month in the future, I think. Maybe more. Uh, Last time I was here, I recorded one of my favorite trails, Red Mountain Rush, but I forgot to uh, put like the auto boost setting on my GoPro. So the footage was super shaky and I couldn't stabilize it. Uh, so now I'm back later to get that footage, which I don't mind because I absolutely love the trail, so I don't mind riding it again. Uh, that is not this trail. Whoa, I just smashed my bar. Ooh, that was close. This is goat. Just a traverse to get over there. Uh, but it is not easy. Kind of exposed. And there's some techie climbs. Uh, one of which I think is coming up. Yee. It's also quite early. It's like 7.30 or something. And I've already been riding for an hour and a half. 
because uh, it is late April and it's gonna be over 90 degrees every day now for the foreseeable future. Yeah. Yeah, I was not ready for this. So, you gotta get out early to get a ride in. It's already hot. As soon as the sun comes out, man. I'm heading north very soon though. So, this could quite possibly be my last ride at Hawes for a very long time. Here we are. We added some new features, including this uh, chunky rock roll. Wow, I did this? I don't like the look of this. I guess if you just go like right here, right over that. Yeah. Okay, so I wanna go just to the left of the tip of this rock. Come up here and then put the wheel over. All right, let's do it. The roll felt so fine, but it's so scary to like roll up to for some reason. I don't know, my confidence has kind of been shaken recently. I took a spill on a feature kind of similar to that. Smashed my elbow. And that just kind of shattered my confidence. So, we gotta get it back because I'm going to Sedona pretty soon and I wanna do all of the double black trails before I leave because I don't know when I'll be back. So, I gotta be, gotta have my confidence back if I'm gonna do that. On the topic of elbow pads, I'm wearing elbow pads right now, and knee pads, and I do most of the time. This is a plop. Yep. <laughs> um, but I don't see very many people wearing elbow pads. Everybody wears knee pads, but like, not a lot of people wear elbow pads. And I don't really know why, because most of the time I crash, I hit my arms and my elbows more often than I do my knees. So, I like having the elbow pads, even though I may not look as steezy as some other people out there. I like my elbows intact. Oh my goodness, <laughs> my bar came wicked close to that rock. It is dry, it hasn't rained in over a month, and there is no rain on the forecast for the foreseeable future. I have a bug in my eye. Oh my God. It's still there. I gotta fix this. Okay. I think I may have just pushed it further down under my eyelid. I definitely did, I feel it. I'll deal with that when I get back to the van. take my sunglasses off for one ride 
Hello. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Just one with you? Just me. Never would I ever hike a trail that I can ride my bike on. <laughs> that dude probably doesn't ride. But I'm just saying, for me, if I can put wheels on it, I'm putting wheels on it. Oh my God, staring down this sharp rock in the trail and I just run right into it. Don't look at the sharp rocks. Look at where you want to go. Yeah. Red Mountain Rush is two miles long, I think. Two and a half, maybe. And it has 1,100 feet of descending. And I think one of, if not the fastest section on this mountain which is coming up somewhere in here. I'm going pretty fast already. The <laughs> brakes are burning. You! Oh, jeez. Look, I'm not trying to skid, but it's real loose. It's hard not to. some hand pump from that. Oh man. I gotta look further ahead of me. Kind of just staring down my forks right now. I skipped that little like rock spine because last time I did it, I just smashed my front wheel into it and dinged my rim. And I don't really want to do that again. It's not worth it just to roll over a few rocks. My goodness, is that fun. Oh my God, fat pedal strike. <laughs> you get going so fast. And then it's just like sharp, flat, loose turn. Most of which are braking bumps like that. You. in my mouth.
man, there are all kinds of bugs. Whoa. People are like, oh yeah, the desert, there's no bugs here, it's great. Liars. I'm getting bugs in my mouth, bugs in my eyes. You! Oh my god, I got another bug same eye. Unless it's the same one that's just uh, coming out. I hope it comes out. Uh, I had a bug in my eye for like over 24 hours once. Uh, it was horrible. It was quite painful. I got all red and puffy. Bloodshot. I would love to not repeat that experience. All right, trail over. Let's get this bug out of my eye. That's not creepy at all. Last trail of the day. Mine. Which I believe is the only downhill run here that I have not done yet. I am quite gassed, however. So I think I'm gonna ride it a little conservatively. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember that I'm riding this blind and I shouldn't just go as fast as I possibly can. Oh. Smack that rim. You Out, buddy. Woo. Where am I going? Whoa, that's a drop. Look before you leap, fellas. Piece of cake. Oh my God, dude. oh geez. I think I need higher tire pressure. I'm just like, I don't even know what that was. Folding my tire over, I guess. What's this? You. Fun. Yeah, man, that section was sick. Chunky section. Yeah.
Thank you. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. That was sick. It. No, it didn't work. Okay. So we yeah. All right, let's go save my dog. Buddy. Storm's coming. It's getting windy and dark. There's a helicopter. There she is. Hi, bub. Hands down, my favorite post ride drink Red Gatorade. Oh my god, it hits just right every time. I don't know what to say. I don't know. That was a pretty sweet ending to my time here in the Phoenix Valley. I love Hawes. It's like never a small day there, but super fun every time. Not a bad downhill. Mm, chef's kiss. Um, and I would like to report the bug count in my eye was not one. Not two, but three bugs in my right eye. Three! It's the most bugs I've ever had in one eye. And I fished them all out, so we good. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Off to Prescott, baby.